Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn Revenge 3.3 preview playthrough as the Galactic Empire. In the last episodes, we have pushed the Greater Maldrude further and further into the pits of despair. Uh, we have Joris Sabayoth sitting over Sereno, and I think we were sending in some space units to, to cover that before we invade. Uh, I might be wrong about that. So... I do want to move Drost out of here. Oh, never mind. I can't move Drost out of there. We've kind of just got to hope that, okay, we can't kill nine liberties without a hypervelocity gun. We have a goal in two. We have a heavy shipyard. And I think we're just going to have to retreat with Drost. But can we get you in? Uh, What's our nearest ground situation? What are you looking like? we do that with six or with a bunch of stormtroopers? Maybe. All right. Well, let's uh, let's retreat from this. Well, we need to retreat from this. We're going to lose a lot of it. I want to retreat eventually. Obviously, I don't want to retrust. But can we get any kills here? Maybe. Maybe we can get killed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that we can get killed. Get back here. There's no reason not to try a few a few units. Reinforcements on route. I mean, it's just going to be so many fighters coming in, and that's going to all group up. You know, it, I don't think we're going to kill enough to to be worth the time investment. So we'll just uh, we'll drop out of here and send the Commodore fleet over. Send the Ars Dangor fleet. Who I've I, I actually I can't say that. Never mind. I I guess it depends on when this episode goes up. But if you know, you know. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Uh, that's 192, that's 257. I could do that. It feels a little bit risky. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it this way. And hope that... Okay, they actually... They can't send any ground units anyways. So I don't need to... I don't need to worry about, like, speeding through there. Uh, what I do need to worry about doing is getting that built. And getting that built, because that's probably a good place to put a trade port. And you're a good place to put a trade port. You're a good place to put a trade port. You are already going to be a good place to put a trade port, but we're already putting a trade port there. So let's uh, let's get Sabayoth in here. And even without orbital support, I think we'll be able to take them out. Number one goal right now is definitely killing some Greater Maldrude stuff. Uh, which the New Republic is doing a bit of as well, but we're very close to being able to integrate them. Choose your reinforcements. So let's get our integrated nemesis gunship, our A9 floating fortress for the sensor ping ability, and SD10s, maybe? Okay, this will at least be able to cover heading into the next landing zone. And really, with uh, with chores here, reporting. Order yeah, I'm gonna move this up moving. so we can cover up to the victory point. I'm gonna send you in here, and let's just uh, see what we're getting. There. I'm gonna see what its uh, what its movement order was. Alright, we gotta kill the stuff that's coming out this side. And Joris down here. I don't know what's uh what's actually gonna win over the D9 and the Strike Breaker. They have artillery as well. The new corporate alliance artillery. Newer corporate alliance artillery. I'm gonna get you in that if we have to. Alright, it looks like we're fine. 
go put the soldiers in there. Nemesis gunship, you can deploy. And these guys run into. Alright, I think we can actually just uh, go up to the victory point here now. How much more is needed to Mal for Maldred to integrate? I... I don't think it's that much. I think they have like six or seven planets left. But I'm not 100% sure. We do need to track down the other life of Teradoc though, that's the bigger thing. Yeah, I think we might be able to get to the artillery with uh... With our gunship there. You belong to me now. There we go. Easy. All those poor garrisons. Alright, and now this is another one where we want a trade port. Okay, this is our best ground army, and it's even got a few vehicles nearby. So we can just leave out through there. Hold on, before enemy fleet approachings, that is... oh, hello. Are they going to be coming in from, from this area? Okay, let's see. Galanor, Lantilles, Thanos. Three, four, five, six... Ricky is New Republic, Vimisari is New Republic. So I think we only need to take three more. Alright, and I don't I don't think it actually checks for forces belonging to them elsewhere. But if it does, then we'd get those. I, like I think it's only checking the planets that they own and flipping them. I don't think it's checking for the units that are else that are like over our planets. So, I don't think we'll get those. There they are. Got them. So, I'm pretty sure I tried to edit the script to do that before, and then it broke and I didn't bother trying it again. But, let's see. Victory 1. Victory 2s. We have Veer's Gambit. We have Apocalypse. We have Breath of Annihilation, and we have Silence. So, the other thing we have is Fighters, which uh, we've been struggling without recently. Nebulon V Frigate, Surveyor, Rallying Corvette, and oh, that's exactly 300, never mind. I thought we'd get through a few, though. I wasn't paying attention to the number, I thought we'd get through a. Uh, This will be this will be far less painful now that we actually have fighters. Uh, they're not going to be retreating. It's a shame because this all could be fighting the Greater Maldrude for us. Instead, it's fighting us, and that is not a thing that it's doing for us. Where's the... Where's the next shieldiest unit? I'm gonna try to get the SSD to attack the shieldiest units, Mr. Dangor. See, this is how Liberty dies. With ours, Dangor. He is the one who uh, who told all the mocks about the Senate shutting down in canon, so it is kind of how like some part of the remaining Liberty died. Okay, Veer's Gambit, you can uh, you can power the weapons now. You're not in that much danger, and we have some semblance of fighter superiority, your superiority ish, superiority ish. 
That's a word. Those are all words that I said. Okay, you have shields. Make sure that doesn't have shields anymore. Uh... Are they even close to killing any of these? No, like, the shields dropped on this VSD too, which I'm kind of surprised by. Oh, and that ISD as well. That's, uh, I figured if they were going to be killing anything, it'd be these three. But they're, they're fine. They're perfectly fine. And we're all good here. And now it's just, uh, a few things with shields. Shields are down on you. Thank you all for using your power to shield. That's very helpful. Makes it so much easier to track which of you have shields. They did take the shields down on, uh, on Dangle. Almost. But I'm afraid our SSD will be fully operational when their friends arrive. Okay, can you turn around and fly after the capital ships? No, you're just gonna, you're just gonna do that? Fine. Oh no! Uh oh. That's even worse. So unfortunately we had a crash in that battle which I'm leaving in for fun, uh, but <laughs> I am going to use that as a defensive fleet and build a hyper velocity gun under it. So they're going to be our, our buffer against the Havens, because uh, they can't get any ground vehicle or ground units in without taking, sorry, without taking apes. So we'll just leave it like that. and. I think we were actually sending Ars Dangor down to Bestine in the last uh, in the last episode. That was the plan. So I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna send you down to here. And this planet was building our other ground forces. So. Me, please, is about to invade Obra Sky. Is that what that came up from? No, that was that's a different notification. I'm not sure what it's actually notifying us of. But yeah, so we've got what six or seven Greater Maldrude planets, uh, which might or might not be worth spying on. But I'm gonna go with might. Who are you? You were a Darius, Eternal Wrath, and you have an Imperial Star Destroyer with you there. Okay, so here on Kuat, let's take a look at what our other patron units we have. So we still have Doom Dorito that we can't afford yet. Allegiance Battlecruiser. Uh, Battlestar Galactica. Okay. We don't have the money for it. But we're not that far off from being able to afford a lot of it. I think we should actually be able to afford some of it if we move you from course. No, you have commercial acumen. You don't have... You don't have... Uh, credits. The credit guy, I don't know why I was looking for the administrator. He's literally there. The prices were green. I just... I'm ashamed of myself. Okay, let's put him on Coruscant, build a frigate, and then send him back. I'm probably being a little bit too cheap with that. But, oh. Why are you, why are you doing this, Maldrude? 287. 164. Why'd they come into Mandalore? Where'd they come? Oh, I guess they've been moving around in from Selenon. That's where the other rest, the rest of that stack went. Okay, that's two ISDs. But I think we can still win this battle, especially because we have Niles. Like, a lot of their power is in that Altor. But since we have fighters now, that's going to help. And I think we have more damage than them. We've located the enemy. So, like, we just, uh, we pop away an ISD or a VSD and hope for the best. Here. I might be a little bit too optimistic on that. We're on the move. But, well, we have Fenir as well. We have a good man, or tier 3 or 4, right? So, not really good, but... 
Copy that. Star Destroyer reporting in. What's Ace Veneers? Just Ace Pilot. Yes, Commander. Where's your brand eye? What are you? Just a mobilizer commander. Maneuvering. Love it. Ties reporting in. Okay. Hmm. The eight, nine VSDs. More of a problem. Orders, sir. Heavy cruiser standing by. Well, we can uh, negate the missiles from the VSD ones with the redirect. Cruiser reporting. Orders, sir. Oh, Enemy ISDs. Eh. Commander on deck. Orders, sir. This is probably a very bad idea. Can I just bomb any of you? I don't have that many bombers. reporting. Go ahead, sir. Let's put you close to the back so that you don't just immediately explode. Bombers standing by. Ready for command, sir. And. Well, if that's the case, I think it makes the most sense for, command, for us to take advantage of Veneer and try to get in with our fighters to destroy their stuff. Then we can use the Lancers on anti-missile duty. I was really hoping the Altor would stay back a bit further. But it looks like our fighters approaching might be making them rearrange themselves a little bit. Okay, and while they're doing that, we can probably get some bombers in. Okay, they're gonna die a lot on the way in, but we have Veneer with Call for Wind. For the Empire. Commencing attack run. Like with nothing else to shoot and with a big cloud of fighters, it's not like the turbo lasers are gonna do nothing, but I think with Veneer we'll still have the advantage. Changing course to intercept. Then we can just make sure that nothing gets in bomber wise. Is their fighter reserves or bomber reserves aren't gonna be that deep? I think we can make them blow power weapons, which they seem to be doing on at least some of them, but not all of them. Okay, that's not killing their bombers as much as I hoped. Okay, let's back off and get the second wave then. This isn't as good. Hmm. I don't love this. Is it just Veneer? No, there's still a good chunk of his squadron, but they're actually getting hit more than anyone else. Yes, sir. Okay. Engines activated. No, you're not supposed to be that far up. Moving to coordinates. Squad. Engaging the enemy. Yeah, Dorja is gonna die. He supported uh, Isra, anyways. Okay, this is this isn't gonna be worth. We'll get him next time. Uh, are they gonna get his engines? No, we're good. We're getting out. That either means they're gonna be able to get the other ships out, or... try to take the planet and they get in. Because we don't really have much access ourselves into our territory there. Because they might be able to bring in ground forces to all the planets we have blockaded right now. Which means... 
I think taking the SSD from Roach and just going to the next planet might be our best move. Like, if we get to Metalorn or something. Either Shadow? Because their planets are all in a pretty thin line as well, and I think it's a significant chunk of their space units that are in our territory. But the main thing we do need to do is find... Uh, if we can find Teradoc, and we can find Delvartis, that puts us super close to legitimacy. Or, to the legit eh, legitimacy cap we need for our Empire. Which is why I want that, uh... I want Stenos or DeSevro, whichever place it was, to start building rogue droids. Because then we can just, uh... We can just search out Teradoc. Uh, so that's probably... I'll need to re that on DeSevro. Constructing unit. They have six planets, I'll just build up six. We know they're not on Centauri's. Uh, then we can we can actually access any planet but Galanor right away. What's this fleet looking like? 192, 203, 271. Like this this access straight in is not ideal. I think we need to take Lantilles in space just to stop them from having that access. Because that's where all their ground units are going to come from. And if they take, like, Obra Sky, Reporting. Mandalore, all those planets, I'm not going to be happy. Though it does interfere with our ability to hit, uh the other planets right away. So I don't know that we're going to stay here, but maybe there they are. maybe they had some ground units here and we'll be able to, to kill them on their way. Choose your reinforcements. All right. Imperium. Yes, my lord. Ron. A nice little Three Venator. Lancer. We're not compensating. An extra oh right, we were not fully We're not fully healed up on this. I thought we'd been fully queued in. I think we still we still got enough to, to make it. Not ideal. IPV reporting. Super Star Destroyer ready. Alright. Uh, Thrawn, you guys go after the Imperial Frigate. One here. Oops. All sections at your command, my lord. Fire at will. You just gotta hit the ISD with that. Like, it's not, it's not a huge enemy fleet. Enemies in range. Even with, uh, with that little oopsie of... The SSD. Alright, you on that one. That's the shields down on this. So we're gonna try to take that fighter bay and then we wanna hit the other ISD with it. Because Thrawn and the Venator and the Bombers, they can. They can handle most of this fleet with the shields down. Like, we have the Thrawn bonus as well, which is part of why I'm not as concerned about the shield being down on Imperial. I'm not just... Don't worry, Trent, I'm not, I'm not throwing away your, your SSD. Okay, no fighter bays on any of you. Uh, where are these other fighters and bombers? Bombers... On here. Technically, we haven't been reducing their damage, which is... 
problem for that Venator. The Venator is just kind of taking that damage. Alright. If he... Shields are down on that. Okay, I think I, I do want to switch over back to this one. These bombers, you're if you're in the neighborhood, just uh hit the bombs, please. Kreb. We need Kreb and the interceptors to go for these. Ron, you don't need to worry about that gladiator anymore. Alright, and the the Venator is uh is winning against that one too. No retreating. I think I do need to do the the slight cheese, just a slight sprinkling of Parmesan on uh, this otherwise low carb diet or low carb battle. As long as we get the shields down on you, I don't care. Get onto that pursuit. Alright. It was, uh, it looked dangerous at first there, but I think with what we've got now, we're fine. Because you're, the hypervelocity gun is going for the SSD, right? Not for Thrawn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. You, you're not on break. What are you doing? You go. You attack the engines. Don't let that just die. Don't let Thrawn die and let that just sit there, not dying. I mean. Okay. Uh, Lancers. It's it's not your break either. You get over here. Then Venator onto the pursuit class. It's going to be a longer repair session for these guys. Alright, can I send you to the back so that your AoE will hit in a place that it's going to hit multiple hard points rather than sitting at the front there? Because one of the things with AoE projectiles is that rather than hitting based on the target or the hard point you targeted, the AoE is determined by the impact area. So you can target a thing at the back and hit up front and it'll still hit that. But the AoE would be in in this area. So it's something to kinda of keep in mind with uh with bombs and stuff, but it's not the the end of the world. Chat talking about building gaming computers. He, yeah, like I was luckily able to write mine off last year when I when I built this. Like, it was it was painful to get that. I needed to for editing more than for gaming. So like most of my upgrades were built around being able to edit videos, but. For anyone who like watched the the squadron streams before I upgraded, that was the biggest game where it was noticeable for me. But like I couldn't really play the game very well because uh, they would like sort of freeze for a minute on my old computer. Like I can play Empire at War, I can I can play like Galactic Battlegrounds and stuff, but it otherwise wasn't very helpful. 
But it would like it would take me the better part of a day to render a datapad video sometimes. Like especially when I did the uh, the old version of the datapad galactic map, where I made it in in After Effects rather than in Blender. Like the Blender one, I can render pretty quickly for the whole thing, but when I was doing like 10 minute segments on the galactic map in After Effects, uh, it, my computer would be useless for for the rest of the day. Like it, it was painfully unproductive. Cause like I couldn't use, I couldn't do other work while stuff was rendering. I'd have to like go and read or something. I just couldn't touch my computer. And the explosions look so nice, the new ones. From the new impact projectiles part. Very epic. Alright, I don't think we actually lost anything. I was afraid for the Venator for a while there. Those bombers are dying. All sections at your command. Can we escape one more hypervelocity gunshot? Because I think that'd drop it to another health tier. So time is kind of important right now. Uh, I have a 3070 for my GPU. And, oh fuck, what did I get from my CPU? It might have been, I don't, it wasn't a 3950. I think that one was too expensive. I guess I get 3650? I'm gonna look that up. Horizon. Construction complete. I don't know why Costco is all that comes up in my emails when I do that. Complete. Okay, and I just got a bunch of wish list stuff. What year was that? 20... Oh, there we go. 2021. You received your new egg order. That's the RAM. Oh well. I can't find it without looking longer. Okay. It was 3950 then. What was the more expensive one that I didn't get? Oh well. I got something that was less expensive than the one that I was considering. Because I didn't want to lose all my money. Did they move some of these out? Uh, that's still 4 and 4, but the ISD is gone. And the Altor is gone. So, let's get over there. We'll take that out, we'll get it back. Construction complete. Construction complete. Reporting. Right, 50, 59, 6. Okay. Thank you. You're all remembering this better than I am, then. Or, l looking it up better than I am. My phone can't fix it. I think Justin got the 50, or, yeah, the 5960. Hurts ladder. I'm trying to avoid having to upgrade for another couple years. Approaching. My next big expense should be hiring an editor. Choose your reinforcements. All right. Um. Coming around. Torsion, Brandi. We have straight cruisers. I didn't read the other one, but this one's it's fine. We have Susponte, Severus Pain, Barrier, Redeemer. He's on. 
Turf Fenner. Impotent Leap. Viciousness. Bellerophon. Location confirmed. Empire Leap, Wars Faction. Vader's Revenge. And Palpatine Potatoes. All ahead. Direct fire on the I don't... I don't know that anyone's uh, going to be eager to upgrade to the 40s. I have the target in sight. They won't know what hit them. Captain here. Firing turbo lasers. Ready. There's the thing the... Uh, wasn't the NVIDIA like CEO said about Moore's Law is dead? And it's like, okay, maybe that's fair enough. I don't know the technical side enough to say. But like... At that point, you still have to also realize that people aren't going to upgrade unless they're coming from the 20s or something. And even then, the pricing is kind of shit on them. Like, they're more expensive than what I paid at, like, the peak of the bullshit periods. I guess, I mean, I kind of got in before the, the peak of the bullshit periods. I got an okay price when I got it. Uh, like, I had the... Uh, I had the all the there was a Discord server that was like reporting when there was stock on the GPUs because it was just so hard to get them and you had to like buy them immediately. Go ahead, Transmit orders. I have the target in sight. I got fighters on me, Captain here. All guns. Like, it, it's nice not feeling the need to, to upgrade, but I, I've never, I've never really been someone who felt any kind of pressure to get like the, the latest and greatest for tech. Like when I upgraded my computer for work, I've done that like twice, and it was kind of grudgingly each time because I just, I had to do it. Yeah, I think we are gonna lose Vader's revenge. Which is sad. I don't know that we're gonna fully lose anything else. I'm gonna try not to. I wonder if I can get in there and grab one of these before. Yeah, we're Ideally, we get the uh, the crimson. If we don't get the crimson, then fine. Once we're able to switch this for the tractor beam ability and we can actually target it, that would be nice, but... Oh well. Targeted the right thing, but it didn't, it didn't work out. We tried. Only lost Vader's Revenge, which we can replace. We're increasing our, our income pretty consistently. Uh, oh, and I, I should actually save, because I don't think I saved in the last little while. Oh yeah, that's like 20 minutes ago. I wasn't sure if I saved at all. Yeah, so we want to make the boarding ability be based on the tractor beam ability, so you can target the ship you want, rather than being based on spoiler lock right now. Uh, the, the difficulty with that is with Spoiler Lock, which is what it uses, we can make it, we can make it be based on the ship using it, so we can still use Spoiler Lock elsewhere, but doing boarding with the Tractor Beam ability, uh, you can detect whether something's under the effects of Tractor Beam, you can't really check whether the ship you're looking at is targeting something with Tractor Beam. Uh, so it would be the only use of Tractor Beam we're able to really use. Uh, unless we do it a weird way that just assumes that the only ship that can possibly be doing it is a boarding shuttle. Uh, or if you have like a proximity check on top of that. It gets really messy if you want to use Tractor Beam for something else when you already have that, basically. 
Okay, I think we can move back to Roche. What is the... What's the SSD's health right now? So it's 57. So we're going to be in trouble for a little while. Do we have any, any of those? Let's check Metalos, or Metalorn, rather. Metalos. I'm coming for Jindine. Mm. I don't want to all resolve that. The enemy has been spotted. Or Executor. Has to do all this in low health. Super Star Destroyer ready. At least we get our shields this time. Okay, are they gonna retreat? Do we have uh, an interdictor here? No. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to retreat. They thought they'd be getting in without uh, without our defensive fleet here. It was just gonna be the uh, the VS or the Venator, the single Venator. So I'm glad I moved back when I did. Really. Okay. No harm, no foul. We won't hold this retreat against you. Maldrude. Reporting. I wonder, is this better to go with? No. I'd almost want to attack. Centauri's in space, and then Metalorn straight through from there. That could be fun. Uh, but if they're coming into Jindine, you're gonna go up there. Construction complete. Because Jindine has a ground space. Uh, and we have a level. Okay, so we should be able to defend whatever that is. And Dangor, you are full health. You're not damaged like the other one. Boon Moss is here, and there's no ground structures actually built yet. So we can get this back, and we can try to figure out where Delvartis is. If he's close enough, then we can try to kill him. Choose your reinforcements. Go ahead, full. Coming about. Heading out. And if we kill him with Apocalypse and Arzvandor, along with those unnamed ships. Then even if he still has another form left, like another flagship, because they, the Warlord heroes uh, have multiple tiers for some of them, like they'll still lose the legitimacy from a leader death. So it still counts for full on that, and we, we're not really trying to integrate the Ariato Authority yet, so it doesn't matter that they'd still have him as long as we can cut down on their legitimacy. Because with the, with the numbers, that'd be a pretty big deal. It's so nice actually having fighters now. I can build the... Patron Town Palace. Not worry about them. Is it just Funmasa? Do they have any Corvettes flying away? No. It's just Funmasa. Poor little Duros. Only Duros hero in the mods right now. I think. Is there one in... No. There's some Neoidians, which are kind of Duros, but... I think is the only actual. Right, Vantai. All sections at your command, my lord. Never think at that. once. The enemy has been defeated. I like trying to have as many different species for heroes as we can. The Jedi are good for that, but. What was causing the fighters not spawning on ships? So when I put spawn squadron in the behavior, I forgot an O at the end of the squadron. 
So it was Spawn Squadron. And that, uh, that was another one. Okay, Yagdul. Let's see what's there. Get some more ground units. Enlisting troops. Constructing unit. Vehicle in production. We do need to take Commodore back, ideally. Um We're about to have a view on Metal Lorne. And we're going to get those planets as well, so we may as well get it there. Alright, there are no heroes on Metal Lorne. Oh, if they get Charos, fuck. Have they conquered a few of these planets? They have. New Republic. Come on. You're not supposed to be losing out to these guys. Okay, Cola. Building started. May as well get that. And we will get some of these smaller ships then. So we'll get Mighty Duck. This is just the regular Reclamator, right? Yeah, so we're, toward, we're towards the end. We'll get Vindication. We'll get... Nothing else. And we'll move you back to Kuat for that. Says they're invading Jindine. They haven't yet. And we can invade Bestine back. Invasion commencing. We're getting Bestine back. I don't like the T4s being there, but they don't have any structures. So we should be able to kill the rest of the stuff, hide around the the T4s. Oh, there's the T4s. I don't think we want to drop that there. We'll drop the aerial units, though. And if we can take this landing zone, then we'll drop the the spear tanks there. Okay, let's see what else they have, because I not I don't know what it is. They have those speeder trucks. Ready. Advancing. Yes, sir. Roger. Okay, I don't actually I don't like this. Out of the way. Thank you. Death Ox. You got a bit of damage in. I'm not gonna. Oh shit. MPTL is not good. Let's see if we can get the MPTL then. And IDTs. I think if we have the MPTL, oh shit, um, I need to use Death Ox. Okay, just get out of there now. Get out of there now. You did your job. Okay, no A units. Cool. Chase that down. You can deploy. And let's try to get that sensor node. Okay, and we're going to move to the lower end of this. So we're not clumping out if we have to move forward. And we can try to engage at a reasonable range. I got me. Quad, advance. Tank brigade ready. 
Then we're not like clustered in that death zone. Reporting. Wondering how life might have been. Affirmative. A sensor. Uh, you know what? You can't capture that, but I'm still gonna shoot you. Okay. You're supposed to deploy. Yes, Commander. Now, King. And you know what? I think this is probably worth it. Get the sensor node. It was a lot of stuff I didn't want to deal with, so let's do that and we'll start moving in, trying to kill all this. If they only come in uh, with those two right now, then we might not even need to worry about repairs. Silly New Republic. I think they're special. They might be special if they're up here. Okay, they're kind of special. I take it back. Um, who's damaged? You're a little damaged. You're damaged. Oh, are they actually going to make it? Are they going to make it and draw stuff in? Do they get a medal after this battle? Can I do that? Can I just award the medals? Why is that not a mechanic we've added? They're not even that day. Okay. They get double medals. Okay, we'll try to seat them there. Wait for them to take the... The victory point if they need to. Moving to position. Moving. I feel like the problem with the uh, veteran C rayon would be the exact same as the problem with with medals. Is the it's the the ability to or lack of ability to track the units on the galactic map. So for either, you sadly need the the same untenable thing. If you want veteran C, you just gotta play ascendancy. No, you run. You run. Did I get those destroyed? Were there like infantry just sitting back? Oh no, the Death Hawk are, are here. Roger that. Right away. Okay. Moving out. I thought I got them killed. Yes, sir. Yes, come on. Right away. And I don't think they're gonna be dead before we get the the victory point. Let's see if our artillery can drop on them. Roger that. Come on. Moving right there. Position. Moving nope, that's not... I didn't mean to... Oh. I didn't mean it. Just deploy. I guess after the vision's gone, it'll... do the same thing. Oh, come on! They got to live because the bombardment was already done. Or because the victory point was already taken. That was a lot of ground units, though. System conquered. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for our first episode here today. So for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope you're enjoying the series so far. For those of you on Twitch, we're going to take a brief break while I save. Then we're continuing.